Hello again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the printer driver uh, for Konica Minolta Bisub C360 series of uh, printers on your Mac. So if you have a if you have a nice new uh, Mac, go to your uh, go go to your respective Konica Minolta website, select support and services, and click on print drivers you should then get the print driver selector screen up so select your engine I've selected Bisub C220 in this case select your and that's from the list you've got all the Bisub printers there I'm using the Australian website at the moment uh, select your operating system so if you have the latest select Mac 10.7 uh, uh, the driver type is postscript and you then get the uh, the zip file with the printer driver there so just click on that to download it uh, once uh, that's downloaded I'm just going to show you next uh, that'll be downloaded typically in your downloads folder so just double click on the zip file uh, you then get the package installer up so double click on that and uh, hit continue just follow through the wizard with the default settings standard so just go continue 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 agree to the terms and conditions and uh, install and you might have to type in your password for installing software it'll run through the package and uh, say successful okay so now we've installed the printer driver the next thing we have to do is to add the printer so I'll go in Click on the Apple symbol at the top left hand corner, go into System Preferences, uh, click on your Print and Scan hardware. You see there's no printers set up at the moment, uh, so I'll click on the little plus sign to add a new printer. You can see that I can select printers that are currently turned on and visible on the network. So if it doesn't show up on here, make sure your printer is turned on and also that the Bonjour or Apple Talk uh, uh, network protocol is enabled on the printer. It should be enabled by default, so it should up sh show up there. Now I'm going to select the C220. Uh, it gives you a few options, function, version. Uh, so make sure your printer's options are accurate, accurately shown here so you can take full advantage of them so this is basically the configuration that you've got if you're not sure which one uh, which ones you've got installed just check with your uh, uh, service provider or where you got the machine from the first one is if you have additional uh, paper trays I've got the PC408 installed on mine finisher if you have a finisher installed uh, in my case I have a finisher and booklet maker installed so I'll select that you need to select these in order to take advantage of those options in the printer driver and if you have a punch kit installed I've actually got uh, this one installed and uh, say OK and you can now see I've I've installed it, it's now ready to go. So uh, that's it, that's how you install it, and you can uh, now print from your Mac. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.